Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm using this stamp set from Lawn Vaughn. It's called Summertime Charm and I'm working on a piece of Tim Holtz watercolor cardstock. I chose the lemon, it's the more solid lemon image in this stamp set and I'm stamping this with the fossilized amber. So it's a really dark yellow color and it works perfect for these lemons. And I am just stamping this entire background with this image. So I'm randomly scattering these. Not really any shape, way, shape, or form, but I am just trying to get as much coverage as possible, but I don't want to have them touching or anything like that. So I'm working with a little bit of space in between each one. Now on this card, I am going to be working with my clear Wink of Stella glitter pen to do a little bit of watercoloring. I'm going to show you how it can move that ink around and then you'll get a little bit of watercolor with a little bit of that sparkle and shine. If you don't have the Wink of Stella glitter pen, you can always just use regular water to do this. You just won't get that glitter. Or you could add a little bit of Perfect Pearls to your water to get the same effect. So once I finish stamping that background, I'm going to take my clear Wink of Stella pen and I'm going to just trace over those lemons. So that's going to move that ink around and then you'll be able to see how it kind of blends it together a little bit. And then it also is going to cover color in that white space yellow. So it's a really pretty effect and it's a really cool technique to use on your cards and kind of a way to stretch your stamps a little bit more to make them look different. So you can really see it on that whole one, how it's blending the yellow, the solid part, out a little bit better so that there's not any splotches. Because sometimes when you stamp with Distress Ink, it doesn't have that clean, crisp, crisp stamped look. And it also, since I'm working on the rough side of the watercolor cardstock, it doesn't stamp perfectly as well. So it's kind of a way to get that watercolor look and make it a little bit more clean. I'm just coloring in the lemon image. You could definitely color outside the lines a little bit so that there's some yellow outside of that lemon. You're going to get an even more watercolor look with that, but I just chose to keep it relatively simple and just trace around the entire lemon. So you can see how gorgeous that is. I know you can't really see the sparkle in person, but the shimmer that the Wink of Stella glitter pen gives is just amazing. I, it's one of my favorite products and I seem to reach for it when I create any card. So next I'm going to stamp the mason jar that comes in this stamp set. I'm stamping this with the Onyx Black VersaFine ink and I'm stamping this on a piece of Coordination's 110 pound cardstock. I'm then going to take the Outline Lemon that comes in the same set and stamp it again with the Fossilized Amber. I'm stamping this three times within the mason jar itself. So I'm going to use the same technique of working with my Wink of Stella glitter pen. So I'm going to take that once again and then just color in those lemons. So there's enough ink in just the outside, the outline of the lemons to create, make the whole thing yellow. So you'll be able to see the ink kind of pull in from the sides and then it has that subtle yellow look. You could also do this a little bit different. You could do it orange, make them into oranges, or green and do them into limes. So there's a lot of possibilities, and it would be a really cute set to do like some yellow, some green, and some orange, and then give that set of cards as, away as a gift. So once I get those colored in, I am also going to color in my mason jar with a little bit of Distress Ink. So you can see that hickory smoke ink that I have. I'm just going to put a little bit of this on my non-stick craft sheet and then take my Wink of Stella glitter pen and just pick up some of that ink and then color in the jar. So again you can do this with regular water it just you won't have that shimmer to it but I am just I wanted that little bit of shimmer onto my card. So I'm coloring in the top part and I'm going to add some more ink to the top so that it's darker because I'm also going to color in the jar with a little bit of this gray ink just so that there's some shadow and it isn't completely white. So you can see I'm just working my way in from the edges trying to blend this as well as I possibly can. So 
There's not a ton of liquid in the Wink of Stella glitter pen, so if you want it to really blend well, you're going to want to add a little bit of water to that. So I'm stamping the Thanks Sentiment right within the jar itself, again with my VersaFine ink. Next I have a piece of black cardstock and I'm just going to staple a little bit of this yellow twine to it. So I'm going to take one end and then I'm going to leave it hang off a little bit, I just want a different look. So I'm stapling that with my tiny attacher and then I'm going to pull it so that it's straight and then staple the other end again with the tiny attacher. And I'm going to trim off that little bit of extra on that end but I am leaving some hang off just because I think it's a cool little touch. And I'm also going to tie a bow on one of the sides. So I'm taking a third piece of twine and this is doodle bug twine. I'm not sure what the color is called but I will definitely have it linked below if I can find it. So I am going to adhere down my lemon background onto a black A2 size card base. And when I do a black card base, I always like to stick a sheet of white in, on the inside so that you can write your message on there. Otherwise, you can always write with a white gel pen. And then I'm going to adhere down my black strip. And I didn't tie the bow yet because it's always easier once it's actually attached onto the card to tie the bow. Otherwise, that black piece kind of moves around a little bit and makes it more difficult to tie the bow. So once I get that situated and how I like it, I can go ahead and trim off the ends of that twine. And then it's time to attach my mason jar onto my card. I'm using these small 3D foam squares from Best Creation. I just covered the background. And then I'm going to go ahead and stick that right down onto my cardstock. And I'm going to place it right next to the bow. I'm going to try to center it. Um, the bow kind of got in the way. I could leave the bow to, I could have tied the bow after, but um, it works this way as well. Alright, and then I'm just going to add a few sequins onto my card. So I'm using the Bumblebee Mix from Mint Owl Studio. It works so well with this color palette because it's got the yellows and the dark gray color or black sequins in there. So it matched perfectly. I'm just going to randomly scatter these onto my card. And I'm working in group, two groups of three. That triangle look kind of works the best on your card and focuses the eye onto your focal point. And then I'm using the multimedia in the matte finish for this. I'm just going to place a dot of adhesive down and then stick each of the sequins right into that adhesive. Alright, and then that is my finished card for today. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this card. I keep, I have it on my desk and I keep looking at it and I think it's just a really gorgeous card. I love the color palette. Make sure that you're subscribed to my channel if you're not already and I will see you all back here next time. Bye everyone! Bye.